Welcome to Leonardtown, a small town in the heart of St. Mary's County, Maryland. This charming, walkable town is known for its beautiful landscapes, breathtaking waterways, and friendly, welcoming people. When you enter Leonardtown, you'll be transported back in time as you take in the quaint town square and historic buildings. But Leonardtown is undergoing a current renaissance of its own here in its downtown area, with the addition of an eclectic mix of specialty shops, galleries, and world-class restaurants. Our journey in discovering Leonardtown starts with a culinary tour of the fine dining experiences it has to offer. From the freshness of seafood to a mix of cultural cuisines, from Asian and Mexican to Italian and much more. Whether you're looking for an elegant, formal meal to down-home family fare, you're sure to find what you're looking for in Leonardtown. Hi, I'm Andrew Ponte. I'm a local resident of Leonardtown. I'd like to welcome you back for the second part of our culinary tour where I'll take you around town and introduce you to some of the world-class restaurants, wineries, bars and more on and around the square. No matter what you're in the mood for, from pizza and wings to seafood and more, you're sure to find it here in Leonardtown. Let's head on over to Duke Street to visit Botanic Deli and Cafe in Shepherd's Old Field Market. Welcome, my name is Leah Horna. I'm one of the owners of Botanic Deli Cafe. We're located inside of Chepper Old Field Market. We offer uh, farm to table food. We work with the farmers to bring you uh, local and fresh uh, ingredients. Let me introduce my fiance and co owner, David Smith. How you doing? I came from Seattle because of him. Well, I've been surrounded in the restaurant business all my life because my parents have a restaurant when I was little. So I always was taken out of the kitchen because it was dangerous for me. But always I was with that thing in my head to have like a restaurant. So I went to New York. I studied business, accounting. I worked for banks and everything. So, but always was that in my mind. So then I, one day I bring up, I remember it was a lemon pie to the office. So everybody were in love with that. And they say, oh my God, give me the recipe or how you do that? I said, well, it's just, you know, it's a recipe from my grandma. I said, they were, everybody was like in love with that. They say, you know what? I'm gonna quit this, this is not me. So I left my office and then I was doing some research about culinary school. So then I went to Le Cordon Bleu for a couple of years. I was trained there with a French cuisine, but I was like, want to explore more. So I did my internship in Peru. Like I learned a lot of Latin dishes and gourmet style food. So then I came back and I opened my restaurant in Seattle. When I came here, I said like, uh, South Maryland needs something like that around here. So I can do like, it's, this is a little place, but we offer like uh, gourmet style sandwich and you know salads, even the drinks too. We care about every little detail. So that's pretty much we have it here. So we offer uh, counterculture coffee. It's organic, it's fresh, it's roasted in North Carolina, and it's the be best taste of coffee I ever tried. And um, I tried it uh, black, plain, without, you know, I'm, I'm one of those persons that has just, I need creamer in my coffee to drink it. So I went in this kind of cold turkey and just drink it black. And if I go, if I like it black, this is the coffee. And it was like, it's, a, it's excellent black. And I don't, I'm not a black coffee drinker. So the, this is excellent to me. So, and everybody else likes it. So we offer lattes, espressos, iced coffees, uh, cappuccinos. We yeah. have also teas. Uh, the company we work, I bring from the other side, from the Pacific side, is like Smith P. Yeah, from Portland. Yes, yeah. so they're like all natural, like really good quality of teas. And uh, yeah, we have like several drinks and we change a lot with the, you know, different seasons and flavors and yeah, we did a lot of mixes and we have specials all the time. Hi, I'm Amanda. Uh, welcome to Botanic. Uh, I'm a cook here and a barista and today I'm going to be making for you a portobello mushroom sandwich. Okay, so this is our workstation over in the kitchen. Um, and in here we have all of our produce. Um, everything that we can is locally sourced. Um, we do a lot of organic produce. 
this today is going to be the portobello mushroom sandwich. So I've already gone ahead and toasted the bread and grilled up the mushrooms over here on our panini press. Uh, we start with some lettuce and tomato and follow up with some carrot and broccoli greens which really puts a lot of crunch in the sandwich with the portobello mushrooms. Um, it's more a lot of savory flavor so with the uh, veggie mix it kind of balances it out. And then my favorite part, avocado. We love avocados here. We do a lot of avocado based products. This is our, uh, our tallest sandwich. Um, and it's, <laughs> it's fun to watch people eat it when they dine. <laughs> Cause it's a little, it's heftier than the rest. Um, it's also one of our vegetarian and or vegan options. Um, and we top it off with some balsamic vinegar. Uh, over here to keep everything all together. Botanic Deli Cafe is open uh, Wednesday through Saturday. 10 to 4 and Sunday 11 to 4. You can find us on Facebook like Botanic Deli Cafe. And uh, stop and see us at Shepherd's Old Field Market in Leonardtown, Maryland. Well, that's it for today's culinary tour of Leonardtown. I hope you enjoyed this look at the amazing cuisine both on and around the square.